Flipping over to the examples on the second page, we're asked in number three to factor 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. So again, you would look for two numbers to add to 7 and multiply to 12 because 2 and 6 multiply to 12. And again, there's lots of numbers that multiply to 12. For example, 2 and 6 multiply to 12, but they don't add to 7, so they're not the numbers we're looking for. Uh, 1 and 12, but again, it doesn't add to 7. The numbers you need are 3 and 4. 3 and 4 multiply to 12, and they also add to 7. So we would break the original trinomial down in 2, leaving the first term alone and the last term alone. But the 7x gets changed into 3x plus 4x, using the 3 and the 4 here. And in the first two terms, the common factor is just a little old x. That's what we can factor it there. There is a common factor of 2 in the last two terms. So factoring x out of the first two terms, 2x squared divided by x would be 2x, and 3x divided by x would be 3. Factoring a 2 out of a 4x gives us 2x, and a 2 out of a 6 gives us 3. And once again, what's in the brackets is the same. If it's not, you've made an error. And so we can factor a 2x plus 3 out, and the other factor would be x plus 2. In the fourth example, notice that all the coefficients are even, which means that there's a common factor of 2 in the entire trinomial. Now, if you miss common factoring that 2 out, you can do it at the end. But the thing is, if you miss it here, you're looking for two numbers that would add to 34, fairly large, but would multiply to negative 240. That's what 8 and negative 30 multiply to, and those numbers start to get pretty big. So seeing the common factor will make that next step of finding the two numbers to add to something and multiply to something a little easier, in fact, quite a bit easier. So factoring a 2 out, uh, 2 into 8x squared goes 4 times, and 34 divided by 2 is 17, and negative 30 divided by 2 is negative 15. And so instead of multiplying to negative 240 and added 34, the two numbers would add to 17 and multiply to negative 60. Negative 15 times 4 is negative 60. And while still that's fairly big, it's certainly a lot smaller than negative 240. Now when the numbers start to get fairly big, you might want to write down the factors you can think of negative 60. And here's all the factors. Now notice they're multiplying to a negative, so that means that one's negative and one's positive. They're adding to positive 17, they add to a positive value, so that means that the larger number has to be positive in order for it to add to a positive. Now the only pair of numbers here that add to positive 17 is the negative 3 and 20. Nothing else adds to 17, even though they all multiply to negative 60. And so, we rewrite this. Now don't forget about your common factor of 2. That stays right through the end. 2 is a common factor of all of this, so it's one of the factors. So we're rewriting the 2 down, and so remember we use the negative 3 and 20 to break the 17x down to negative 3x plus 20x. 4x squared stays the same, negative 15 on the end stays the same. And in the first two terms there's a common factor of x, in the last two terms there's a common factor of 5. So leaving the common factor of 2 here, and factoring x out of the first two terms, 4x squared divided by x is 4x, negative 3x divided by x is negative 3, 5 goes into 20x 4x times, and negative 15 divided by 5 is negative 3. Now, again, what's in the brackets? The round brackets here is 4x minus 3 in both cases, so that's the common factor that we can factor out of what's in the square brackets now. 2 still stays out front, so 4x minus 3 is one factor, and the other factor would be x, plus 5. And once again you could expand this out and you will get 8x squared plus 34x minus 30. Last example, and in the last example you notice there's not much room here, but that's because in order to factor this, this actually isn't factorable, you would look for two numbers that add to 12 and multiply to 15. 3 and 5 multiply to 15. And of course you can write out the factors. The only factors of 15 are uh, 3 and 5, or 1 and 15. Everything's positive here, so we don't have to worry about any negatives whatsoever. And none of these pairs of numbers add to 12. 3 and 5 add to 8, not 12. And 1 and 15 add to 16, not 12. So if there are no numbers that you can find that multiply to 15 in this case and add to 12, that means that you cannot factor this. There are no two factors that multiply to 3x squared plus 12x plus 5. And so you'd simply say this trinomial will not factor. And that's the end of the lesson.